Hello everybody, so I am back again with another Disco Diffusion update. They now have released the 5.6, and I know the new one just came out recently, just, you know, the other day, but this one has a really great new feature called a portrait generator. So I, I have already used this a bit and I really like it, so I wanted to go ahead and post this video and I'm going to demonstrate it and I'm going to do about, I don't know, five or six renders as well as give you some really great prompts to use to get you started with it. Um, I'm using the VIT B32, the 16, the 14, and the RN5016 models, which is quite a load. The 14 and the 16 are both memory hogs, so just set it up however you can get it running. And this is the new model here. If you check on this section, Diffuse and Model, go ahead and select the Portrait Generator V001. And that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. And so here is some of my other settings. I've got 200 steps. My width and height is 512 by 704. And I've got my Clip Guidance Scale set at 2000, which is fairly low. And I don't believe I've adjusted too many of the default settings here. I've kept it on skip steps 10. I'm, of course, not using animation mode. And I think I've kept this all the same as well. Yeah, so I haven't really done much. Now, I am also, um, cut-in scheduling is something I haven't done, haven't put in my image tutorial. So I'm going to do a section on this here pretty soon, too. I was actually working on it when I saw this update had come out. So here's my first prompt here. It is a 3D portrait of a female, and then I've, I've searched up some artists that are portrait artists, photography artists, that kind of thing for all of these prompts. But I'll go ahead and post this prompt down there in the About section or in the comments so you don't need to worry about it right now. I'm just going to go ahead and run this, and then we'll come back when the run is done and show you this portrait image here it renders. Okay, I am back and here's the render we got and you can see we get an extremely realistic looking portrait here uh, with the combination of the prompts that I have used along with this diffusion model. So this model is great at making portraits. It's specifically designed to do portraits. You can actually get a portrait by just writing a painting by and then an artist. So that's how well trained it is to do portraits. So this is a great new addition here to Disco Diffusion. It's going to really enable, you know, you can do, use these for NFTs, thing like, things like that as well. So I'm going to go ahead now with my next prompt here. And again, I'm going to list all these prompts down there um, somewhere in the comments or the about section with the image number for each one. So you don't have to worry about memorizing all this right now. You can, you know, if you want to go ahead. Anyways, this is a more of a fantasy kind of a theme portrait I'm going for here, so it won't be as realistic. This is a portrait of a female elf sorceress by Carol Bach and Gia Ron, and then I've got some other modifiers there. And if you notice too, I have a weight in here, so you can use weights to kind of diminish the effect of that particular prompt, which I've done here. So my top line here is going to have more effect than this one. So let's go ahead and run this one, and I'll come back when the render is finished. Okay, and the next one is done here, and this one turned out really good as well. This one is more of a bit of a fantasy theme to it. So here's this one, and again, all these prompts are down below. And show you how this portrait modifier also does take on the styles of the artists, but you can still get a portrait. So this one, I'm going to go for a portrait of a female by Pablo Picasso in the blue period. Okay, and the render has finished up, and you see this did a really good job of even capturing Pablo Picasso's style in the blue period. Now, I'm going to show you something here just to demonstrate just how, how tuned this model is to portrait specifically. So you, it's only good for portraits. You might be able to do some, you know, full body shots with a, a few modifications. Okay, so for this next prompt, I'm just going to put a painting by Carol Bach. I'm not even going to specify, you know, a woman or a man or any anything other than just a painting. Just show you that this model is just specifically tuned just to do portraits and nothing else. Okay, and you can see this render is finished. You can see it made a portrait. And again, Carol Bach, he has really good paintings. He's a really underused artist, I think. So giving the Disco Diffusion the freedom just to do a painting of anything, you know, it could have done a landscape you know, buildings, whatever. I just put a painting by Carol Bach and it made a portrait. So this diffusion model is specifically set up for portraits. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and set up the next one here. Okay, so here we've got a 3D portrait of a male pirate by Rembrandt. 
and William Adolf Baguero. I might be mangling that name. And a lot of times, too, I'll put their last name first. I'm just kind of doing it based on whatever I have copied down in my in my notes there. And for this one, I'm going for kind of a really realistic looking portrait with the volumetric lighting, Unreal, and everything. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll see how this one turns out. Okay, and this render is just finishing up here, and you can see we mostly have a pretty realistic portrait there. He, he is a little lopsided there with his mustache, and there's some discoloring there. But overall, that's a pretty good, you know, portrait image, especially compared to what we're used to getting with this good diffusion, just with just the prompts. We could never get something like this without the model. But, you know, he's a pirate, too, and C can take a toll on a person. So actually, while I have this, I think I'm going to try something else, too. I haven't tried yet. I'm going to try to turn on the horizontal symmetry. I'm not sure if this is going to just really throw it off. We'll see. We'll just do a test here, and I'm going to use the same prompt with the horizontal symmetry on to see if we can get more of a even kind of face there or if this just turns out a total disaster we will see here in a couple of minutes okay and we are back and this is winding up and it actually looked like the horizontal symmetry worked great the reason i was a little skeptical about it is because if the face wasn't centered you know exactly on the nose here then his face might be real skinny or real wide if it's over too far he might have you know, some just some weird looking stuff. It looks like that horizontal symmetry is going to work great with this model. So that that's a gr that's great kind of unexpected surprise for me. And now we'll go ahead and move on to my very last one here. Okay, and for the last one here, I've got a 3D portrait of a female vampire. With I've got three artists here, and again, I'm going to list all my prompts here below. Now I'm going to actually do two of these. Um, I haven't really planned on using the horizontal symmetry, but I'm going to go ahead and do one without and one with, and we'll do the first one without here. Okay, and this is winding down now, and again, we've got a really nice looking image here. This, so this is a great model, and I'm going to do one more run here with the horizontal symmetry turned on, just to make sure I didn't just get lucky last time. Okay, and one final run here with the horizontal symmetry on. Yeah, but that's a really good looking portrait. I really also like how it just automatically filled in with kind of a studio backdrop there almost without really having to do anything to the prompt or anything. So I'm going to keep the prompt the same. Again, I'll post all these prompts down below here. Now, one other thing here, if you notice, I have a minus one here in this second section here. So legs, hands, teeth. So what this basically does is it should stop Disco Diffusion from rendering these things. So the teeth I always put in whenever I'm doing a vampire because I've had a lot of bad luck just with kind of really weird looking teeth. And, you know, they they usually don't come out proportion very good. So I'm going to do this final run here with the symmetry on and we'll see what we got. Okay, I am back and here's our final render. And using this, this portrait generator diffusion model with the horizontal symmetry definitely appears to be a winner. So you can also use it without it to kind of, you know, give it... A little bit more variation but this is a absolutely great model for generating portraits and i have a lot of other stuff in the works now i'm also throwing together a, a list of just tons and tons of prompts i'm going to try to get um, a lot of prompts up for i'm starting to make a patreon page with a lot of my settings and videos and stuff so i'm going to be posting that here sometime in the future i've also got a lot of other things that i'm going to be posting videos for including a image morpher to kind of link videos together but thank you for watching and i've posted the link for this new disco diffusion notebook down below you all have a great rest of your day